Welcome to The Gritty World of Serpico, a 1973 film that delves into the turbulent world of police corruption in New York City. Directed by Sidney Lumet and starring Al Pacino in a riveting performance, this movie sheds light on the challenges faced by Frank Serpico, an honest cop who finds himself at odds with a system rife with corruption. The film raises compelling questions about integrity, loyalty, and the pursuit of justice in the face of adversity. Delving into this cinematic gem might reveal lesser-known anecdotes that add depth to its creation. Did you know that Al Pacino, in his commitment to portraying Serpico, actually lived with the real Frank Serpico to observe his mannerisms and lifestyle firsthand? Such dedication often brings authenticity to on-screen performances, enriching the audience's experience. Speaking of performances, which character stood out as your favorite amidst the ensemble cast? From Serpico's tenacity to the complex dynamics with fellow officers, there's much to appreciate in the portrayals that bring this gripping narrative to life. Now, I'm curious to know about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film. Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. We'd love to hear your unique perspectives and connections to this impactful movie. Unlocking the Layers of Serpico offers an engrossing journey into the complexities of law enforcement and moral integrity, making it a timeless exploration of ethics and justice in society. Your stories and insights make this conversation richer, so don't hesitate to share. Sidney Lumet, the director of the movie, emphasized realism by casting mostly unknown actors, including Al Pacino, despite his recent fame in The Godfather. Lumet believed this would enhance the sense of reality, steering clear of associations audiences might have had with established actors. Interestingly, the NYPD cooperated well, providing insight into the actual events portrayed. Lumet was surprised by the officer's positive response, appreciating the film's authenticity over a Hollywood gloss. A noteworthy detail is the area E. Lucivan Listel from Puccini's opera Tosca, paralleling themes of corruption and power abuse in the film. These elements collectively enriched the portrayal of the story's gritty realism, contributing to the movie's enduring impact. Al Pacino's dedication to embodying Frank Serpico's character went beyond the screen. When he decided to take on the role in the 1973 film, he invited the real Serpico to stay with him in a rented house. During their time together, Pacino asked the burning question, why did you do it? Serpico's response reflected a profound connection between his actions and his identity, saying, well, Al, I don't know. I guess I would have to say it would be because if I didn't, who would I be when I listened to a piece of music? This exchange reveals the depth of Serpico's commitment to his principles and the intrinsic link between his actions and personal integrity, a core theme explored in the film. Pacino's immersion in Serpico's world further illustrates the dedication to bringing authenticity to the screen, echoing the movie's exploration of corruption and individual conviction. The synergy between the actor and the real-life figure brings forth the essence of Serpico's motivations, enriching the film's narrative with a profound sense of purpose and personal identity. Al Pacino delved deeply into Frank Serpico's world before filming began. Spending significant time with the real-life figure, Pacino aimed for a portrayal that resonated with authenticity. This commitment extended beyond set hours, with anecdotes suggesting Pacino's immersion in the character even in public spaces. There's a tale of Pacino going method, adopting Serpico's persona to the extent of confronting a truck driver over exhaust pollution. Interestingly, the film's setting intersects with reality in subtle ways. While Pacino's character resides at 57 Minetta Street in Greenwich Village, Serpico himself lived a few blocks away at Perry and Greenwich. These nuanced parallels between fiction and reality enrich the viewer's understanding of the film's context. This meticulous approach taken by Pacino underscores the dedication of actors in bringing authenticity to their roles, showcasing a commitment that transcends the confines of the screen. These behind-the-scenes efforts shed light on the links actors go to embody the essence of real-life characters. Sidney Lumet, the director of the film, opted for a distinctive approach during the shoot. He preferred a swift pace, kicking off with straightforward scenes to acclimate the cast and crew quickly. Al Pacino, known for immersing himself deeply in his roles, found Lumet's rapid-fire method a stark contrast to his prior experiences. This pace, though initially startling, stirred a constant inner tension, fueling the movie's narrative and character dynamics. Lumet's strategy, far from elaborate setups, aimed to spot weaknesses early and keep the storyline's intensity alive. Pacino, adapting swiftly to this style, 
brought his character's state of mind on and off camera, fostering an environment conducive to the film's raw authenticity. This approach, unconventional yet purposeful, set the tone for a production focused on capturing the essence of Frank Serpico's story without compromise. The film wraps up with an epilogue revealing Frank's resignation from the police department and his move to Switzerland. However, Switzerland wasn't his scene, and he made his way back to the S, settling down on a small farm in upstate New York. In 2015, he was still active, guest lecturing at police academies across the country. This shift from a decorated officer to an educator shows a different facet of his life post-service, a transition that might not be evident from his intense years on the force. The epilogue paints a picture of Serpico's life after the spotlight dimmed, revealing a quieter but purposeful existence. The 1973 movie Serpico had an interesting origin. Initially, it was meant to star Paul Newman and Robert Redford, following their success in Butch Cassidy and The Sundance Kid. Redford was slated to play the lead role, while Newman would portray Serpico's lawyer friend David Dirk, eventually renamed Bob Blair in the film and played by Tony Roberts. This shift from the initial casting plans reshaped the trajectory of the movie. The film was rigidly bound to scripted lines. The actors had room for improvisation. Al Pacino's intense reaction in Serpico's final tense encounter with his former captain was largely spontaneous, adding an explosive authenticity to the scene. These deviations from the original casting and the allowance for improvisation significantly influenced the movie's portrayal, shaping its final form into the gritty, raw narrative it became delving into the complexities of law enforcement and personal integrity. The 1973 movie Serpico faced an incredibly tight production schedule, demanding simultaneous editing and shooting. Sidney Lumet, the director, deemed the time frame insanely short. With a mere four 12 months allotted for shooting, editing, and mixing, the editing process had to run alongside filming. Scenes were swiftly dispatched to editor Deed Allen, who had a tight 48-hour window to cut and prep the footage for sound department handover. This pressure cooker scenario, a testament to the film's rapid pace, highlights the tremendous hustle behind the scenes, where each scene demanded immediate attention to meet the unprecedented deadlines set by the production. As we wrap up this cinematic journey, let's pause and delve into the world of a timeless classic. Serpico, a film that etched itself into our hearts and minds, captured the essence of courage, integrity, and the relentless pursuit of justice. Its narrative threads still resonate, weaving tales of authenticity and moral fortitude. Perhaps it was Al Pacino's electrifying portrayal that struck a chord within you or the gritty portrayal of an individual challenging the status quo. Reflect on those moments that stirred your emotions, the scenes that linger in your memory, and the impact this masterpiece had on your perspective. Whether it was the raw authenticity of the storytelling, the gripping sequences, or the powerful depiction of an individual's fight against corruption, Serpico has left an indelible mark on cinema history. Share your thoughts, your favorite scenes, or the profound realizations it bestowed upon you. Your unique connection to this film enriches the tapestry of its legacy. So, let your reflections flow and join others in celebrating the resonance of this remarkable cinematic gem. Thank you for embracing this journey into the world of Serpico and for sharing your insights. Your engagement adds depth to the appreciation of this cinematic marvel. Until our paths cross again, keep exploring the myriad narratives that touch your soul.